breakfast is ready, so should I serve it to our lady? We see the worry now. Why do you play that? I don't hear. Go tell Madame something, John. Oh. Certainly not be ready for this. He is not looking forward to another baby. Oh, hello, dear. Hope all is well. Uh, all is well, my love. But you don't look it. Uma, yes. as you can see, I just got back from work. Allow me undress and have my bath, okay? Okay. No problem. I'll go and get dinner served. That's all right. <sighs> this lady wants to destroy my marriage. I won't let it happen. She must abort that child. Hello, Sharon, what is it? Have you told her? Told her what? did not force you into this relationship. So, listen and listen good. You listen. Listen well. I am going to call your wife and inform her. You wouldn't dare. You cannot. What? Uh, what is it, dear? I heard you shouting from the dining. Is, is everything okay? What, what's going on? It's okay. It's work. Work? Don't tell me that. Look, I'm better than I'm assuming tomorrow. Our financial status was okay as a time I was going on sick leave. So what's it all about? Honey. Look. The company is okay. It's just some investors giving me headache. But it's not the pressure I cannot handle. Okay. Okay. We, we both have come a long way to see this company survive. And definitely it will make it. Yes. It will make it. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um... I'll go and get your meal into the microwave oven and I'll wait for you as you come to the dining table. Okay? Okay. okay. All right then. So come when you're done. Yes, all right. Okay, dear. Okay. <laughs> If only God knows how long. I'm sorry, my love, please. Don't call me love. You don't know the meaning of love. Look, Barney, do I deserve all this? This marriage has produced three wonderful kids. And this is all I get for it? Look, I am not the only married man that cheats. Why are you making my own like I, I kiss someone? Huh? Besides, I, I fired her, what's that her name, uh, Sharon. She no longer works for me. <laughs> you have fired Sharon. She no longer works for you. But um, she's gone to LA to have your baby, where she'll continue to reside. You thought I would never find out, did you, Brownie? Well, I found out. I said I am sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Um, so, uh, 
Have you gotten a new driver to replace Jacob? By the way, what did you say made you fire him? I, I wasn't listening when you said that. Do you really want to know why I fired Jacob? Wait, Sela. Yes. Did you, I mean, were you sleeping with my driver? Babe, your family seems nice. Oh, they are nice. Um, so, are you going to tell them about us? Uh, you see, that's not how things work around here. I can't tell them about us, Hector. Oh, okay. That wasn't what I was going to say. Promise me you won't break my heart. Come on, don't, don't be like this, Hector. Don't. What I was going to say was, I won't be able to tell them about us until much later. Michael, don't sugarcoat me with words. You only love yourself. Why can't you just love me without holding back? See? Self-love is the most important of them all. You need to love yourself more. Is this my house? 
kadang nabi tak semua kan ini what are you reading? a book alright so uh, baby is not here so let's have private time just let me be, I'm not in a mood right now. Please. Okay. Since my husband doesn't want me, I think I should go bring our baby here to keep me company. Why? What, what, why are you going to get her? Why? Is she hungry? Is she crying? Why are you bringing her here to disturb me? Okay. It's fine. It's obvious you don't want me to be here. I will just leave. Please, please. I'm trying so hard to make this marriage work. Right. Oh. <laughs> oh. with brain. Uh, uh, the teacher's people right. Uh, you know, no, so the only guy in home economic class is all those girls. The all them girls. Oh, you're amazing. You do find out. <laughs> well, good to see you again, man. Good to see you. Wow. It's been a while. I know. You, you, you. I should, I should be saying that to you. Wow. I heard that you um, went to one polytechnic in the East to study Hotel management and tourism. Oh yes, yes. Uh, after my NDE, I went into a catering to learn more about cookery, both international and local stuff. Ah. You know. <laughs> but guess what? Guess what? You know, the, look, the, the knowledge from both has actually mm. taught me that I'm meant for the kitchen, man. Mm. I can mm. cook. Nice. Yeah. Man. So what are you doing here, my brother? This is the best place I've worked in since I left the school. It's free food. Free accommodation. But, but you know, I'm trying to save costs so I can, you know, hey. open my own restaurant and possibly open my own restaurant. You bought it, secondary school. You bought it to man itself. <laughs> what? You plan this set to the arrange. Yeah, future. Look, planning yeah. has always taught me to mm. be prudent. And here I am doing what? What are you doing here, man? Um, I'm here with my wife, Amanda. You, you, yeah, we're here for a couple of days. This is my father in law's house. We got married two years ago. Oh, oh, oh. you're married to one of the brownies? Point of correction, she's no longer a brownie. She's an Okonkwa. So, yeah. well, did she denounce her father's name because you were getting married to her on the altar? Before, before. I don't need to take all those ones. So. You marry me, you set to I need always be like this for you, <laughs> man. Crazy, <laughs> crazy. I've been hearing from my guys. Ah, no, no, no. I saw that reminds me. I saw this guy. What's his name again? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Um, the one with the big head now. What with the waisties? Uh, 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 uh. What? Uh, yes. 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 now. Is he good? I, 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 I heard he was in. Sorry, excuse me. Hello? Hello? Sorry, excuse me, excuse me. Hello? Hello? Yeah? Baby, I've been calling you. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry. I, I, I had a board meeting to attend with my team. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Okay, love. I'm in Lagos now. Just arrived at my father's house for the family reunion. My parents' wedding anniversary I told you about. Yeah, I remember. Baby, no, please, can you still come around? Babe, why are you? Look, I would have loved to come on a, on a good day, but having to come on the occasion of... Hold on. Why are you sounding like this? Babe, you know what, let, 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 let me call you back, okay? I'll, I'll call you back. I hope you're still in Lagos. Yeah, yeah, I'm still around. I won't be traveling any time soon. Chef, huh? your new guest just arrived. The rooms are already set up. Just take your bags inside and, and that's it. Okay, Chef. I'm coming, I'm coming. Ah, chef, 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 chef. Come, you guys can't do, do any, anything on your own. Come on, we'll try to make it. Chef, chef, I see the money's okay.
Hey baby. <laughs> yeah, I've settled in now. Come online so we can FaceTime. Okay. Babe, can you, can you see me now? Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's okay. Can you, can you, yeah, I can see now. Hey baby boy. Hi baby. Hey. Hey, what's up? <laughs> You're looking really good. It's shiny, you know? Someone's shining like, 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 like a diamond. <laughs> Please stop with the flattering, okay? Mm -mm. No, 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 no. So tell me, how was the flight to Lagos? I can't say because I slept all through, so. Uh, I mean, you, you, of course, you slept off. Baby, hold on, hold on. Someone, someone's knocking, hold on. Oh, oh. Okay, uh, okay, all right. Come in. Okay. I don't need to in the kitchen. Um, uh, baby, um, I, I just got a call that some people are downstairs waiting for me, so I need to really go that right now, okay? You know how it is, meetings and everything. People are trying to reach out to me. <laughs> Uh, you know, so I'll, I'll, I'll call you back, okay? I, I love you, baby. I love you. I, I... Remember, you're not downstairs to receive Madame's daughter a few minutes ago. Calm down right. now. Uh -uh. Uh. Like right now. Let's... I don't blame you. Look at this small girl. Talk to me now for this place, idiot. Don't blame me. I blame you. Okay, let's have you put all those over there. Okay, I'm okay. 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 spacing this out. Good, good. <coughs> right, okay, so. Yes. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm. 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 Mom? Um, why are you not in your uniform? Um, I, 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 I changed my, I, I was about to leave to meet up with the people um, to get um, the decorations from so I can um, prepare them for the anniversary tomorrow, ma. For the exterior design? Oh, exactly, ma. <sighs> what is wrong with you today? Okay, go and get it. Okay, ma. Um, before you leave, what are you making for dinner? Uh, uh, coconut rice, ma. Okay, my kids like coconut rice and I'm expecting a foreign guest so he can also have a taste of that. Okay, I guess I'll just have to mind that as well. Okay, okay, off you go. Okay, ma, um, let me go and get the apron, ma. That'll be good. Okay. Quick, quick, quick. Stop here. Okay. So sort this all out and um, come give me a feedback when you're done. Yes. So are you, are you okay? What are you hiding from? Who is she? Oh, the lady. Yeah. That's my in-law, Kalista Adugo Brownie. Oh my What's God. it? Are you okay? Shit. Can, I, can, I, can I talk to you, please? Yeah, sure. Yes. I've been okay. How are you? I'm good. I can see that having your own accountant firm has done a lot of good for you. I mean, you look good. Mm -hmm, thank but you. But you just left me the company, though. Uh, not really, not at all. Um, by the end of the month, mm -hmm. I have um, some things to do around here, so you get to see more of me, okay? I hear you. Um, 
So where are you going to? Me? <laughs> no way in particular. Mom told me that you're around, so I just came around to say hello. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, <laughs> um, okay, Hector, meet my elder sister, Kalista. Kalista, Hector. Hi, Hi Kalista. Hi. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, yeah. let me leave you to rest because me, I need it. I've been on the road for days, so I'll see you much later, okay? I'll see you too, sis. Okay. Bye. <sighs> then you bring what you mm -hmm. brought for me. No problem. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please. It's your turn. Uh, okay. I'll see you later. Don't say. I'm serious, man. Kalista is my girlfriend at Dalgo. I mean, she had told me her full names a couple of times, but I, that was when we started dating. I didn't even pay attention to... But, but you, you said you love her. Oh, yes. I love her. So that, that is the Kalista everyone is talking about. The boss lady. I want her to be married like twice. She is so many... Yeah, she, she, is, she is that and, and more. She is a member of ICANN. She runs her, she used to run her father's accounting firm, but now she has her own firm. Really? You know, she, she audits for different companies, big companies. Uh, she's the regular, you know, Lagos big lady. I think that's um, why her marriages didn't work. You know, the men probably couldn't tolerate the sort of things I, I tolerate, you know, from her sister. You for them? Amanda. <laughs> no, so I would not like to you. It's not, it's not been an easy fit. <sighs> Is it that bad, really? <sighs> I don't, I really don't think I can continue. Then I've, I've had it up to here. Wow. I'm only just here for, for money to say. No, just, absolutely. Those ladies uh, are quite stubborn. They're stubborn, even though I, I think um, Kalista is a bit calm. I can say that because I've studied her over, over time, so... She, she can't see me like this, all right? Look, I have told her a lot of things about me that are lies. But in the process... Wait, you mean you, you lied about yourself? <laughs> all the social media looks... Oh, I need a profile, man, look. My intending dream is to get a restaurant, and very soon I promise you. No, so, uh, no, so please just calm down. I mean, you, you're still here. You still walk in here. You don't have the space yet. You need to calm down. You need to be thinking of how to remedy what is facing you. Sooner or later, you're going to bump into her. She will see you. You will serve the meal, I, right? I, I, I need your help on this, please. Madam sent me to get my apron, and I cannot. Be seen on the, on the on the on this on the same floor with her. She would bump into me and she would know. So what do you want me to do? Please, can you can you help me get it from my room, please? Please now, please now, please, please, I beg. Just let me get it from the room. That's it, just the apron, please. Where's the room? That's just down down there. Let's go like this. So the one on your left side. Asking. He has beaten more than he can chew, so his shadows are chasing him. How do you mean? How do I mean? I overheard him talking to one girl on phone, posing to be a big boy. Our own chef, big boy. <laughs> ah, chef. Hmm. What are you looking at? Not Nothing. Too. Have you sliced the oven? That is what I'm about doing. About doing. 
Avec shift, avec. I will cook this plant in here. I told you to, 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 to trash it. Everybody, every time to talk, you will talk. To do your work, can't do your work. Nonsense. Uh, I mean, give me that knife there. Give me that knife there. To talk, you will talk. To do work, you will not do work. Good evening, everyone. Sis Kalista. I'm fine. Sister Amanda, good evening. I'm fine, Mom. Brad Chudy, good evening. Good evening. How are you, Mother? I'm fine. Yes, we can say that you're fine by keeping late nights. Sister Amanda, I'm coming from. Coming Jam from where? The church? Mosque? Where? Mother, who rides Jam in August? Come down. You should have looked for a better light to tell to cover up your late night dealings and not play on our intelligence. Mm. Sister Amanda, please don't pick on me tonight, though. You can't come all the way from your husband's house and pressurize me in my father's house. Whose father's house? Whose father's house? Um, mother, I'll accompany you. To your room. Let's go. Um, I don't want any of this. Okay. Mom, Let's go. Mom, you have to address this issue. Because if you don't, I will. I will. Off you go. Now, young lady, you will tell me where you are coming from. So now. Because Sister Amanda pointed out the fact, you now suddenly cared. Dear child, you are not going to use that term on me. No, Mom! Since when did you care? Do you even know my next line of action? Do you know what runs through my head? Yes, job was a month ago. I am famous, start for it. But. Do you even know my performance? You see? You don't. All you care about is traveling, building a career, attending functions. You're not the only career woman in the world, Mom. Famous mother is a lawyer. No, she's a judge. Yet she's involved in her daughter's life. <laughs> you don't care. No. Neither does that man you call my father who doesn't care if I come or go. Oh, dear child, <laughs> but I care. I do. It's too late, Mom. I've learned to get by without you both. I'll be going to school soon. Angel, my darling. I do apologize. I'm, Mom, I'm please. So... Please leave. Mom, please.
Um, all right, we need to all calm down, everyone. We need to calm down. The doctor will soon be here and ascertain what exactly is wrong with her. In the meantime, go and check on my daughter. Stay with her in that room. If anything comes up, I'll let you know. I said. Check on her and know what is at least wrong with her. Okay, everybody, out. If you don't mind, everybody. excuse me. All right, uh, let, let, let's go to the city. Room. abortion why how on earth did Mirabel get to this point the abortion wasn't done properly luckily the baby survived you see she has to be brought in tomorrow for a complete medical checkup and to make sure she has a healthy baby oh my. please ensure she have a very good rest this night because she has lost blood yes, right I'll make sure she's stable now thank you doctor but wait wait Mabel you, abortion. How? How could you do this to me? How on earth could you do this to me, Mabel? How? I'm taking my leave now. Yes, of course, doctor, you should. Um, doctor, please, I beg you with everything. Not a word about this to a living soul. Please look for some explanation. Just anything you can attribute to this medically, please. Okay. Hormonal imbalance, whatever, please. But don't breathe a word to anybody. I beg of you. Okay, ma'am. Well, like you know, I'm a professional, yes. and this should remain confidential. Right. This is not a problem. I'm sorry, Mom. Mirabel. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, my dear. I'm also sorry to have failed you as a mother. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's also my fault. Forgive me. The doctor said uh, she's having, what is that again? Uh, hormonal imbalance. That she needs to come to the hospital every now and then. So, Stella, is she a sickler? Because no doubt of my children have that terrible ailment. Um, actually, my, my daughter is. I'm not a sickle cell patient. Neither do I have hormonal imbalance or challenge. Okay. <laughs> and I tried having an abortion. That was why I bled. It's a good thing I didn't lose my child or my life. I'm sorry, everyone. I'm really sorry. That. I'm very sorry. 
there's no justification here. Yes, I was lonely and I needed love. But I went about it the wrong way. And now I, I disappointed my family. <laughs> I'm sorry everyone. Bra Michael, I'm sorry. Sister Kalista, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. It is bad that you got yourself pregnant. <laughs> now, who is, who is responsible for that child you are carrying? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Everyone makes a mistake. You are a survivor, you survived this. Definitely you will get by. I've had two failed marriages. None of them lasted up to a year. I've invested in various businesses. I watched them grow within the space of one year. A lot of people admire me and they want, they wish to be me. But the thing is, I'm a failure. No, my dear daughter, come on. No, 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 mom, no, mom, no, mom. Don't give me that pity now. You both gave me a life, a home, education, luxury, but not once, not once, a shoulder or a listening ear. Not once. I, I, I don't know what happened. You, you get just changed into something that I don't even understand. At some point, I needed a guide in my life. Mom, you were never there. Your career was the first priority. As if you're competing with someone or, or, or trying to prove someone wrong. Not you. You weren't there either. I thought, I thought, I thought having a career was going to make me a better woman. But all you ever taught me while I was growing up was have a career, have a home, do this, do that. Love left this family a long time ago. You guys are just pretending to be good. Ugh. Especially since mom decided to go on a long leave some time ago. I have come to realize that there's more to this life than just having a career. You know, I could, I could, I could get an empire going. I could break notes, you know, auditing for other firms. But I couldn't keep a home. My marriage failed twice. Both men couldn't keep up. They, they couldn't. I, I, I was competing with them it's, it's instead of cooperating or, or, or supporting them. Look at me. Look at me. At this age, there's, there's, there's no man, not even a child. You know, I didn't even get to enjoy, enjoy, enjoy my marriage or to even conceive. <laughs> Mom. Do you know why I never got pregnant for either of either men? Because I had irregular menstruation. My menstruation came late in life. When it finally came, it was unstable. I tried to talk to you about it. But you just did not want to listen. At some point, I, I, I got tired. <laughs> Amanda was very young. She couldn't understand then. What? It was back in my university days. You know, I just, I just went to see what the problem was. And I got, I finally got a solution. Mom, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy doing it alone. Oh my God. I am ruined. I am ruined. Ah, God, oh God, what have I done? What have I done? What on earth have I done to myself? I have failed as a mother to my children. 
You see what your unholy act has done to us. How you have ruined us. Hmm? No. It was rather your own unforgiveness that ruined this marriage. It can never be me. No. It was your adulterous acts that ruined us, that got us to this point. Sleeping around with all those women and employees and getting them pregnant when you had just big dreams. Where were all of them when it was just you, I, as storekeeper, as sales representative, as accountant, plus three other staff? Where were they? when I would prefer you pay my colleagues before me, just so the company does not fold up. I would manage the funds, and you would go out there and spend lavishly on those prostitutes. Ah, come on, Brownie. And when you finally made it, you became a serial cheat. God blessed you, and you decided to take the cookie of every woman in Lagos. You didn't think I was going to sit down and fold my arms and watch a company I toiled for as a spinster before I became your wife just go down. No. It was the day I said I was going to ruin that business and that the only way out was if we split 50-50 and become equal shareholders that our marriage died. It was payback for all the heartbreak, the STDs and the shame. So, the best way you could go about it was to sleep with my own driver. Come on! You could have gone out there and get yourself a lover. Not someone that calls me, sir. You disgust me. <laughs> oh, Ravi. And what does your PA call me when I come to the company? Hmm? Brownie, you're unbelievable. Remember I asked you if you wanted to know why I sacked your driver? Today you will know. Jacob was actually making passes at me. And indeed, I was tempted to sleep with him. Just so we could become even. But no. I respected my husband. I respected my marriage. So I felt the best way out was resist temptation and fire him, which was exactly what I did. Now listen to me, Brownie. Mirabel is not a product of cheating. She is your flesh and blood. <laughs> As you can see, I clapped for you. <laughs> you truly deserve some accolades. A married woman with children, tempted by her husband brother to sleep with her. I can see you are bent on hanging that bastard around my neck. But as you can see, it's not jelly. It's not gonna work. Because I'm not gonna take that bullshit. You can tell that your story to the marine birds. Don't be too hard on yourself, sis, okay? I mean, at 19, you bothered up so much. So, on behalf of all your siblings, I'm saying sorry, okay? Okay? Sis. For the past three years I left secondary school, I've been feeling jam. The first one I took, I didn't make it at all. Last year I didn't sit for the exam and no one bothered to ask me if I was going to the university or not. Anyway, from the allowance you all sent me, I learned how to bake and how to do professional makeup. <laughs> Yes, I'm at almost touch on Instagram. Please follow me, sis. And patronize me when I'm Of course days. I will. <laughs> wow, I'm so proud of you, sis. Thank you. So, um, you you'll be driving me back at my base. 
So you can teach me how to bake. <laughs> Wait, do you know how to cook as well? Yes, of course. What? The cook we have here is very good. And trust me, I always go to the kitchen whenever he's cooking. <laughs> he is a badass cook. Wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. My girl, please come stay with me. So you can teach me how to cook. Because I really want this to work this time. Won't work to work. Okay. I'm dating again. Wow. Yeah, so his name is Nancy Edward. Okay. Yeah, he owns a restaurant here in Lagos. Um, closer restaurant. Wow. Yeah. And he's used to good food. You know, I don't want I don't want to embarrass myself when he finally asks me to come over to his house and expect me to put something on the table. You know? So I've taken up time mm -hmm. from work to groom myself properly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sis. <laughs> Look at your eyes. What? What's wrong with my eyes? There are butterflies in them. Oh. <laughs> you really like this guy. Wait. You love this guy. Is it that obvious? Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you have a picture of him? Yeah, yes, I do. I do. He's he's really cute. Oh, yes. Oh, he's all for me. <laughs> you said he owns a restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get her to sleep already? Huh? Please make her sleep, make her sleep. You will never support anything else. I mean, what kind of husband are you? Not even my dreams. You can't even help out in the house. Support you. That you should make your, your, your daughter sleep. You, you're asking me to support you. How am I supposed to do that? Please make, make, her, make her sleep. I love you. You love me. We are happy family. We are a big party. Amanda! I'm not saying I'm perfect, but you did me wrong. I don't deserve this brownie. Look at how we've ruined our children's lives. I'm sorry. The lawyer will be here with our divorce papers tomorrow. I just hope it's not too late. I, I really do hope I can, I can right this wrong. We can ride this room together. Yes, I, I will grant your request for divorce after this passes us. But let us team up and help our kids, please. Honestly, let us save our babies. Um, there, 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 there is this question that is really like I mean, if I don't get this answer, please, can you look into my eyes, eyeball to eyeball, and tell me the honest truth? What is it, Brownie? It's Mabel, my child. Brownie, Brownie, Brownie. <sighs> Listen to me, darling. Let everything I have told you about this marriage be a lie. And let this one thing be the truth. Marble is your flesh and blood. I was going to tell you that night you came in the stop before I found out that Sharon was pregnant for you. 
Let's not go there. Okay. It's fine. Okay, baby. Why are you not sleeping? She's the one keeping me awake for. So why are you not with her in the room? Uh, Chudi... Actually, I, I just wanted to stroll around, yeah. But don't worry, <laughs> she'll soon be sleeping. Amanda, I'm your only brother. And your party for that matter. Tell me, what is wrong? How do you mean? What is wrong with your marriage? My marriage? <laughs> My marriage is perfectly fine. You see? That's the problem. No marriage is perfect. But you just said your marriage is perfectly fine. So that alone tells that there is a problem. So what is it? <sighs> Michael, please stop. Yes, that's a problem, but what would you have me do? File for a divorce? Look at our sister, Kalista. Kalista already has two failed marriages to her profile. Mine won't be the third. I mean, I do not want such for my family. What would people say? They see our family and to think that I'm an on air personality, the world would blame it all on me. I do not want to give the media something to talk about. You know, it's so heartbreaking. It's so sad. At least look at this innocent child. I once had to grow up with, with a father and mother just like I did. Bro, I'm having to rethink about that because I mean, look at look at mom and dad's messed up, toxic, dry marriage. Is that one marriage? <coughs> That has, that has some effect, negative effect on some of us. You're lucky. You're lucky you, you, you were not affected. Oh, my baby. I do not want such for my child. Just, Amanda, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. You're not having a divorce. I'll talk to him. Talk to him about what? What do you want to tell him? You want to beg him to, 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 to treat me right? Seriously? See, I'm not the best wife of the year. I'm not even campaigning for that position. But Judy, Judy treats me like he's doing me a favor by being in this marriage. And I know him. Sooner or later, you'll file for a divorce. So you know what, before he does it, let me save him first. Mother, please, just calm down. Calm down. A lot is going on within the family already. I have heard mom and dad shouting at each other. There's Mabel's failed abortion. Should he said that, he had better not say shit about my family.
Hello, my sweetheart. I'm, so, I'm sorry what I told you now. I told you not to sleep deeply that I would um, call you whenever I get a little chance. Hmm? I haven't said that. So, um, how are you? How is my baby kicking? Okay, okay, that's uh, that's not a problem. Once I um dropped a call, I'd um, make you a transfer. All right, just just take good care of yourself and the baby, please. You, you, eh, you, eh. If I come back, I'll flog you. <laughs> All right, it's fine. Um, um, I'll, I'll see you during the week, okay? When I'm back. Bye. Good night. I love you. No. So make sure you don't worry your head over anything. Yeah? And I promise I won't get involved in your marriage if you don't want me to. Yeah. Just go in there, get some rest, because we have a long day tomorrow. Okay? Okay. So here. Yeah. Ew. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now. Uh, Thank you, bro. Take care of yourself. Yeah. Make sure you sleep well. Good night. Good night. Call him, come on. Talk to him. Talk to him about what? What do you want to tell him? You want to beg him to, 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 to treat me right? Seriously? See, I'm not the best wife of the year. I'm not even campaigning for that position. But Judy, Judy treats me like he's doing me a favor by being in this marriage. And I know him. Sooner or later, he will file for a divorce. So you know what? Before he does it, let me save him first. Just, Amanda, please, just calm down. Calm down. A lot is going on within the family already. I have heard mom and dad shouting at each other. There's Mabel's failed abortion. And my husband has already talked about it. And I know Trudy. Trudy would not stop talking about it. Bro. Getting a divorce, that's fine now. Trudy said that. He had better not say shit about my family. Just come. Just take it easy. Come, 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 come to my girl. Struggles I'm not perfect. Actually, no one is. I appreciate same sex more. In this part of the world, it's abnormal. Sleeping. Mm -hmm. No worry, just go back to sleeping.
much money. Sugar. Good morning, darling. Good morning. What's all that noise out there, huh? It's my supposed anniversary. I guess the, uh, the decoration guys have arrived. That's too early. What time is it? It's after 10 already. Are you kidding me? Oh, Mirabel is supposed to be going to the hospital. Oh. Honey? Mm? Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Oh, I can't find anything here. I'll go and check the next room. Yes, you, you called me. Yes, you called me. Yes. I've been thinking. Let us cancel this party. I mean, since we've decided to have a divorce, let's do it quietly. Not, let us not drag our children into it. Brownie, we discussed this yesterday. Look, let's set aside our differences and help these kids. Let's make up for all the lost time and all the times we have set them on the wrong path and made them feel like life was not worth it. Okay? Look, every hidden agenda about our separation, let's just die for now. And let's save our kids, please. Okay? Please, Brown. <sighs> okay. Thank you. That's fine. Um, you want to take my, I mean, my daughter to the hospital? Yes, Brownie. Uh, let me take both of you there. Her sisters want to come along as well. So I, why don't you just stay at home and check out the goings on, okay? Okay, if you insist. Where is she now? Um, in her room or in Callista's. She'll be in either. You can just check. Okay. I've got to run along to the bathroom. Let me sort out what I'm going to wear. I'm 10.30, that's, gosh. There's no need for that. I'm the one sorry here, my dear, for being crude and hostile to you. It's okay, Dad. I hope nothing against you. All I ever wanted was your love and care. It's okay. From henceforth, you get all that. Will you ever forgive this man? I've forgiven myself and gotten rid of every hate. So I forgive you, Dad. God, 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 God. Um, See, you have to freshen up because your mom is waiting to take you to the hospital. Dad, I'm fine. I can go later or tomorrow. I don't want to miss your anniversary party. Honey, there will always be more anniversary parties, okay? So you just go and freshen up and go to the hospital to treat yourself. I want you to bounce back to health, okay? Because we are, you are dear to our hearts. I don't want to go there. I don't want to go. Good morning, Daddy. Good morning. Are you still here, Mabel? Get up and go take a shower now, eh? Let me help you get a dress out for you to wear. I don't want get to go. go. Daddy, please beg for me. Honey, this is a serious issue, okay? You need to go to the hospital and drink to yourself. Now, don't worry. We'll come to the hospital and bring you flowers and gifts. <laughs> flowers, Kate. Please get up, go shower now. We'll have a lot of things to do today now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, get up. Get up. <laughs> See, go, 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 go. All right. You know your mom doesn't like to be kept with you, okay? No. All right. Take care of it.
was telling you. Mm. I think it's not even that. <laughs> hey, good morning, radio girl. How are you doing today? <laughs> good morning, Amanda. Good morning, darling. Where are you both off to? So I'm taking her to the hospital. The doctor asked that we'll bring her in today for a checkup. So I'm taking her there. Okay, so I'm going to come with you guys so I can drive. No, 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 no. Mom, mom is going to drive us, so it's okay. Hey, I'm still coming. <laughs> How about your daughter? Oh, that small woman. <laughs> she disturbed me all through the day. Serious? I'm telling you. So she's sleeping this morning. Are you sure, sis? Have you given birth before? <laughs> uh. <laughs> yes, oh, I'm sure. Cool. She's, she's sleeping because, like, she had to have a shower this morning. I've given her food. And you know, these mm -hmm. small people, food is mm -hmm. all that matters. <laughs> I know, I know, right? So, just give me a minute, I'll be ready. Yeah? Okay, yeah. okay, we'll just wait for you. Alright. Go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Okay, you're all here, good. Um, the items are on the way, so please be available to receive them. I do not want to hear any stories, okay? I'm running it, I've got to go. Um, okay. Mom, yes. please, I need to tell the maid to help me do something in my room. Mama, we're running late. I will be long. Okay, okay, just hurry up. Mabel, is there any problem? There might be, but it's your problem, and it might be the end of your relationship with my sister. How do you know about this? I have my way around things, you know. I found out. Wait, was she the reason you never came to serve food yesterday? Um, I knew something was wrong. I knew you were hiding from someone or something. So are, are you, are you, are you going to tell her? It depends. It depends on what? What do you want from my sister? You want to dig gold, right? No, no. You knew who she was and then you played your way through. No, no, no. I, I, I swear to God, I didn't know she was a member of your family. You know, I, I met her online and, and you know all these Nigerian ladies, I had to, yes, I, I faked the profile, okay? But she looked very classy and very mature. All these things they're calling me is just names, okay? What I said about the, about the restaurant, you've got to have a futuristic plan to own a... <laughs> CEO Koza restaurant, right? You're very funny, no? So, very funny. So you, so you're gonna just 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 stand there and and and, and mock me, right? No, so come out of your closet, spill the beans. Sooner or later, you you have to face her, you know. You can't judge forever. Just cut the chase and save yourself the stress. Thank you, my girl. I I, I promise I'll cut the chase. And I'll have to run along now. Fine. And um, you don't need to come over for the party anymore. Nothing. It's just that I, I don't want you to come over. Um, uh, <laughs> huh? uh, yes. What about mom and the girls? They're not back yet. Where? I even overheard Amanda's daughter crying. Did Amanda fall into the hospital? Well, I guess so. Because I saw her husband carrying their daughter and heading to the other side of the house. Um, I guess he's looking for her. All right, tell him that I'm calling him, or rather bring the baby for me. To see, or, or rather bring the baby for me. Oh, okay. There he is. Oh, 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 oh. Good morning, sir. Uh, this is afternoon. I can see the baby is no more crying. I don't know where Amanda left her to go to. Oh, cute baby. Oh, sorry, don't cry anymore, yeah? Your, your grandpa is there, okay? Um, Dad. Mm -hmm. I guess it's all man for himself. Well, let me go to the kitchen and get something to cook. It's all right, it's okay. Mm. Mm. Oh, 
Amanda. So you left the baby for me to babysit. When did that one start? How do you mean? One more dumb question from you. I will shut that mouth for you permanently. Try it. Trudy. You, you know you amaze me sometimes. Tell me about it. This child we are talking about is also yours. Besides, she was sleeping when I left the house. I just joined my mom and Kalista to take Mabel to the hospital. How does that affect me? How? Listen, I know you are a monster, okay? And I wasn't expecting you to express concern. See, I won't let you make me feel like I have failed as a mother or that I forgot my child. I could simply have taken her to the hospital. But I mean, I left her with her dad. Listen, I've had a very long day. And I didn't even have a night. I practically did not have a night, thanks to you both. Excuse me. How dare you? Ouch. Judy, you have the right to slap me, even in my father's house. You back away from me. Are you serious? Back away from Such me. gods. Such gods. At least you should even have respect for my family. I mean, such gods, even in my father's house. I will beat you, blue back. You do not step back from me. You should at least have some respect I said I will beat for you. my parents. Um, bro. How dare you? It's okay, Dad. Huh. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. You're sorry? This is how you've been abusing my daughter? You even have the guts to do it in her father's house, and you say you're sorry? Now, what is the problem? Dad, I, I, I don't even know. Seriously. I didn't ask you. Judy. What is wrong with your marriage? Nothing, sir. We, um, we just had a little misunderstanding. Little misunderstanding, you said? My wife and I have gone through worse. But not worse have I laid my hands on her. Yeah. I may be everything bad. But not a woman bitter. I wonder where the children of these days learn this kind of thing from. Dad, my happiness is key. Mom, I'm not enjoying this marriage. I'm not. All the while I've, I've just been pretending. <laughs> my husband has changed from the, the very sweet guy I used to date. He's changed into an animal. <laughs> Mom, look at look at our kid daughter. Look at her. He doesn't even care. He doesn't care about the well-being of his child and myself. You shut up. Shut it. Why are you playing the victim here? Why? I wonder how many times. Have I given you support, give you things, and you threw it back in my face? Right back at my face. I give you things, I provide things for you, and you give, you give it out. Because it's not up to your standards. Fine, you have standards, but do not call me a lazy man, please. Don't. What? What? I, I, I do not feel like a man in my house. You think you can do everything on your own? You are, you, you are living like a single mother. No, 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 tell them. I give you support. I don't give you support. No, no, no you're yeah, here. Yeah. Say it. That's not true. Not true. Not true. When last did you ask me for money? Since I got married to your, to your daughter, sir, she has never asked me for anything. How am I supposed to be the man? 
Yes, you have a well-to-do family. Fine. You have your own money. Fine. But give me some credits sometimes. No, how long are we supposed to keep living like that? You paid for your attendance yourself. You went through it yourself. The minute you put to bed before I said Jack Robinson, your father was there to sort the bills. I got you diapers for her daughter. Did you use them? No. You rather use them when your brother got you from the UK. How am I supposed to feel like a freaking man? How? <laughs> but this is bad. Amanda, does it mean you don't discuss finances with your husband? I mean, you can't bruise a man's ego and expect him to remain the same. Sis, I never meant it that way. I'm trying to be a good wife here. My husband, he's just one track minded. I mean, I have my own money and I thought it wise to, to, to support my husband and not disturb him with bills when I can pay for right. them. Right. Besides, mom has, mom has taught us, she's taught us to be independent as women and not depend on anyone for anything we need. Yes, reason you would change the fittings in my house without asking oh. my opinion. You change the settee, you change my living room without asking what I thought about it. Because you have your own money. Yeah, I'm done. See, I've been looking for a way to say this, but thank God you brought it up. I, I've had it up to here. Um. It's okay, son. It's okay. See, your marriage is young. If there is still any iota of love left in it, I suggest that both of you should go behind closed doors and iron things out. Now, should you listen to me? Never you ever again lay hands on my daughter, whether I'm dead or alive. Are you Amanda? You may do anything to a man and he will let go. But don't you ever bruise the ego of a man. I don't have much to say. But you guys are in love and that's why you got married to each other. So I would like you to go home, fix your marriage, where someone is wrong, let him accept his wrong, and you guys should move on. <laughs> See, um, that's the thing about you career women of nowadays. You think you have made enough money and then you feel you're financially independent, and then you want to rub it in your husband's face. No, I mean, I never did that to your father. What is wrong in you actually asking him for what you want and then he provides it and you just appreciate him for that? Mom, but what happened between you and dad? I mean, you guys were not like this when we were staying on the mainland. I mean, you guys seem so happy. So what changed? Money, darling. Money happened. Money? Yes, money. You see, um, that's something I should have taught you all earlier, that I didn't need to prove to your father that I could actually sort out myself financially just to get back at him for cheating at me or for cheating on me. But um, you see, if you want to marry, don't marry because he's rich or because he's poor. Because you say, oh, when uh, he has made money, He's going to worship me and stay faithful to me. No, it doesn't always work out that way. And then don't marry because you say, oh, he's a millionaire or he's a billionaire. And then I can have everything I want, all the luxury things I want in life. Look, there are billionaire wives out there who do not have a property to their name. Okay. Marry whoever makes you comfortable. Be in love with each other. If he's got a business or a career going for him, fine. If he sets up one for you, fine. And that means you can grow together. Okay, have I made sense? Wow, such touching words. That's the kind of life I want for you and I. 
a simple one, so that you won't run away from me and cheat on me. Uh, hello? Wait, can you repeat what you just said? I knew it! I said it! This is when I went to Oh, fantastic, Mr. Gentleman right here is gay. Well, it's better than being a white bitter like you. Tell hey. me, babe. Michael, will you shut up that your dirty mouth? You? All right. See me in my room right now. Will you sit down there, Laos? Stay away from my son. See him. Michael Kwa. But Michael, what is the meaning of this rubbish? I'm sorry to disappoint you, but what? But what? My son a fag? You can be a womanizer, you can be a, a chain smoker, but not a gay! And you? You brought my son into this, right? Uh, no. Dad, leave him out of this. And this will certainly be your last. Dad, I can't deal. I can't deal, Dad. So much craziness and drama in a relationship. I get scared. I get hurt. What you and mom had was that was the marriage. So much unhappiness and expectations. What happens if they are not met? Now look at my sister, Amanda. All the emotional and physical abuse she passes through in the hands of her husband. I can't put someone's daughter through such stress. I want to put someone's son in it. It's different. It's different. He understands me. I'm not with him because of the intercourse or the mushiness or whatever it is. I'm with him because I love him. where it is today because of her managerial ability. She knew that the business needed to grow and she had to cut out all her expenses. And that was why when she opted that we should have a split. I didn't argue because I believe the devil I know is better. I know I wronged her. Yes, marriage is fuck up. But my sons, listen to me. To be married to the opposite sex is a beautiful thing. Yes, there could be misunderstanding, there could be quarrelings. But then I tell you, with wisdom and tolerance, they will stay true. My mom killed my dad. What? what? Yes. I was young then, and they were having an argument. And my dad, he hit her so hard, and she fainted. That night, after dinner, uh, Dad started foaming, and then he collapsed. Your mom poisoned him? That was what I discovered when I grew older. Hector, so you were scared of being killed by a woman? Yes. But you don't know what your mother passed through in the hands of your father. Your father may have treated your mother very badly. You said yourself that one day you were there when he hit her so badly that she fainted. Yes. Really, you must have endured a lot. I mean, I'm sure she did what she did so that your father can feel what she felt every time he hit her. My son, what of if your 
mom had died in the hands of your father, would you have been scared of women the way you are now? What I don't understand is, why do people hurt the ones they claim they love? My son, that is the irony of life. Sometimes it is because of obsession, insecurity or lack of trust. But let us not shut our heart from the real thing because of the negativity around. If both of you claim to love each other, then you should help each other to come out of this mess. I'll try, but I mean, good women are hard to find. And good men are everywhere. There's no one good or bad. It is what you make out of your partner. Are you a good man? <laughs> <laughs> about princess and I. You, you, you treat me like I'm worthless. <laughs> Although I, di I didn't know that I had my own flaws too. I didn't know that I was playing the, the role of the man in the house. I didn't know that my family's interference was was a problem to you because you never complained. How was I supposed to complain? Uh oh. Trudy, can we give this marriage a second thought? If not for anything, for our beautiful daughter. Please. From now henceforth, I I promise to be a submissive wife. I'll let you play an active role as, as the head of the house and whatever decisions you make, it's final. Difficult taking all this in. <laughs> Seeing you take control, reject my gifts. It hurt. But Amanda is fine. I'm ready to give this a second chance and then. Uh, I'm ready to take my place as the man. Now that you know. Let's find out. Be supportive <laughs> and um, take care of Princess. <laughs> I, I will change her diapers if need be. <laughs> I, will do. I will give you money no matter how little. <laughs> you 
even if you have to give them out, I will give you gifts. I won't give them out, I promise. I won't. I'll make this work happen. <laughs> Somebody's smiling. Amanda Wanda. Okay, princess. Go to mommy. She's beaming with smiles. Okay, now. This is different. <laughs> okay. Sorry for how I acted earlier. It was quite um, childish of me, and I want to apologize to everyone. I shouldn't have. It's all right. There yes. must be forgotten. You've gone and forgotten. <laughs> Thank you. Now that we all are happy. Brownie, brownie. Okay, love is there. Brownie, brownie. Okay, love you should get a man. You should. Uh, okay, don't worry, I'll do just that, okay? No, no, but, but, but seriously, Callister. What sort of man would you would you want? I'm sure you're, you're thinking towards the line. Of... Yeah. You know, you know, I've been through this twice, so <laughs> I don't want to make another mistake. I just want someone that treats me well, you know, someone humble. It may not be rich, per se, but, you know, I just want to be happy. You know, I just want what you guys have. I mean, is that too much to ask? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's just, that's just, that's just it. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. Okay. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> he, he might just be around. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> what? What? Come and get your woman. Now, sharp, sharp. That's it, Hooks. Hooks. Okay. 
Mr. Hai. Yes, this this is me. This is this is not so. This yeah, this is not so in this full regalia. Look, the truth is, I I, I, I never lied to you. Okay. Let's just say I was intimidated by you and, 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 and what you represent. Because after we spoke, yes, I, I, I went online and I and I checked out a few pictures of you and I just needed a profile to meet up to yours. I needed to upgrade my profile because it was nothing to write them about. Yes, I'm a chef. And, and, and I didn't lie to you about the, the restaurant they intend to open. It's, it's something I want to give birth to. I have hope that someday I'm going to own a restaurant and let everybody be happy and feed you and... I'm sorry, I... Look, I, I can understand after now if you don't want to see me again or talk to me or anything, but I just thought it was wise to come out of my closet and... Be truthful for once. Please, forgive me. After now, you want to fire me. Thank you for for having me here and uh, having to employ me in this. Guys, uh, I'm sorry. I know I've lost you already. It's better like this than being in the closet. Bye. Lonzo, wait. I love you. Okay, I don't care if you're a chef or whatever. I, I want to be with you. I'm in love with you. 